What's up, fish and addicts? Check it out. Mike back in the kitchen again for another episode of Tasty Tuesday. So today we are going to do the part two of what you just saw Friday uh, for a Pompano Catch Clean Cook. This is the cleaning and cooking part. So uh, let's before I start off with, I want y'all to check out last Tuesday's video if you already haven't see just how darn good a job Junior did by himself with those uh, gaff top catfish. Um, he didn't have any help from me because I was out fishing, uh, trying to get this Friday's video up for you guys. So, I mean, let's give him a big thumbs up, big round of applause. He did it with him and his mom, no help from dad, and with a brother and two sister babies that are uh, talking, which I'm sure you guys heard in the back. So, without further ado, let's give him a thumbs up, a round of applause, whatever you want to do. Drop a comment on it just to tell him personally how good he did. That'll mean a lot. Um, what we're going to do is the pompano, we're going to do a catch clean cook sometimes. Uh, so we have our pompano here. Uh, there's a couple different methods to doing it. You can grill it, bake it, uh, fry it. Today we are going to be doing some baking. Um, you don't need, you can either bake it whole or bake the, uh, fillets. We're going to start off with fillets. So with the pompano, if you want to go ahead and you can see in here what, you want to do to start with just like you do with any other fish is you'll feel right here you can feel the uh the skull the head, the head bone so just go ahead and follow the bone all the way down and with the pompano you're going to leave the skin on okay so then we just take follow along the spine Remember, we're just doing our outline here. We're not actually uh, taking the fillet off. So just keep the outline nice and pressed. And then you all know the deal. Once you get to the tail, just push it through. And then you can go ahead and follow the anal fin the, and the fin line with your blade. This way it pops out easier. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over and get our marks here because as a, uh, as you're filleting, if you, if you remember from one of my last Tasty Tuesday videos, it can be a little more difficult with big or small fish if you try to fillet one side take the side off and then fillet the other side. So what we're doing is we're just gonna go ahead, because what'll do is the skull will keep up while the whole body sinks down. And sometimes that's how you miss your, your, uh, your meat there. Oops, nobody's perfect, especially when you're dealing with a real sharp knife. So whenever you do that, there are no double takes with our channel. It's all real fishing, all real things. Just go from the back. That way you can follow the spine back up. And then once you get here, right to the end, just go ahead and I'm, it's kind of hard because I have a bend in the tip of this knife, so I got to angle it a little bit differently. Pop it through. Now we can go back to the side and what we're gonna do is just smooth strokes but keeping it against the backbone as you can see the knife is so sharp it actually cut through the backbone and this is just a Rapala knife that I got at Academy so you just kind of peel back keeping light pressure Because I went through, I have to do a little bit extra. And with a pompano, the meat's so light, you can actually kind of peel it. So just nice, even strokes, light pressure. See that? Went through the bone again. 
just enough pressure to keep it against the backbone, especially if you got a big sharp knife like this. And then as you go down, see how we're doing this? Just light pressure. And that's it. You can see here how we're going. To one side, cut the skin off here, then all the way down. Got a nice little pump and fillet. You can feel a little bit of pin bones. So you just go at a 45 degree angle so you're not taking out too much meat. And this will actually peel right out when we bake it. So you don't gotta worry about taking it out, but I'm going to for now just because I don't want to feel like doing work while I eat. So there's that. Now, one thing I will say, uh, it's best to do it when the pompano is cold, so, or any fish is best to do when it's cold. So throw it on ice, that way the meat firms up nice, nicely for you. I'm gonna put this filet over, actually I'll put it over here. Now we're going to go down, lightly pulling back, nice gentle strokes. And then sometimes you can, especially if you get a sharp knife that goes through it, you may need to pull it back like this so you can see, then pop up a little bit. See how the backbone split, and then kind of just take off the, the tail portion here, so that way you can get an easier bend. Nice smooth strokes. turn this around on you guys so I can see what I'm doing but you guys will get the gist of it bigger pompano it's easier to put the belly meat keep it on but I accidentally uh like I said went through the rib cage so you can go ahead and pop that baby off right here save that nice soft belly meat without fouling and hitting the guts and you just pop the ribs off Oop. done like that there's another one which as you can see, this part would have been here. So next, what we do, now I preheat the oven to 350, you can do it 375. What you're gonna do is just gonna go ahead, take some olive oil, drizzle it on the pan so the fish doesn't stick. Nice and easy. Skin on. Take your fillets. Oh yeah, I forgot, pin bones, right? So there we go. Now, a lot of times people use salt, pepper, garlic, everything like that. You don't have to. If you get Everglades fish and chicken, it already comes together. This has uh, salt, pepper, uh, garlic, sugar, uh, and paprika in it. So it gives it a great flavor. Just go ahead, sprinkle it to your, to 
your specifications or your liking. Season it to you, okay? I'm not gonna tell you how to cook all your food, I'm just giving you a base idea. Now, I have already cut, pre-cut some onions. So what I do is I got some sliced onions here and pre-slice some butter. So what I'm gonna do, take the butter, these two slices, put it on top, go ahead, take your onions, put them on top, just like that. Take a lemon, Put it on top. That is it. Okay, so when we're gonna go from here, we take it. Bake it on 350 for about 10, 15 minutes until you see the color change, white flake, just like any other fish. And you're good to go. So I'll see you in a few minutes. What's up, fishing addicts? Look who's back, my little helper, mad scientist in the kitchen. Say hi, Jax. Say hello to your fans. And then we got baby Violet uh, uh, trying to eat her table. And there's Zyra. Zyra, say hi. Say hi to everybody. Good job. All right. You are, uh, we're here for that pompano, right? So check it out. Oh, yeah. Like my man Blue Gabe would say, but can you smell it? We are here for the plating. So, it's done, ready to rock. Onions are just a little soft. Put our lemon. And then you can make this fish with any side you want because it is a mild fish. And speaking of mild, um, a lot of people might wonder, why didn't you wash off your fish? Well, pompano aren't a bottom feeder, so you don't necessarily have to. They're not. Um, they're a very clean eating fish. There's very little bloodline in them, so you don't even need to bleed them. Like you might with other fish, like gaff top or shark or something like that. So, uh, besides that, we're done. And I'm coming up with a little bit extra, making some uh, street dogs for later. So what you can do... If you're feeling fancy, just go ahead, use a little bit of freshly chopped red, green, orange bell peppers, just to make it fancy. And that's it. In the meantime, if you, have, if you like what you see, definitely hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And stay tuned for our next episode on either Monday or Tuesday. Not Friday. We'll do we'll give you a video on Friday. We'll go out get some fish. Uh, if not, I'll see you on the flip side. What's up fishing axe? Sorry about that. I uh almost left without the taste test. So special shout out to Lino and Leo, two special members of the Coast to Coast Fishing Crew for uh, giving us the pompano, just catching, catching the pompano with us. Um, or we with them, either way you want to put it. You saw it, you guys saw that on Friday. And here's the taste test. Okay. He's amazing. All right, y'all, he's going to have his mouth full. The kids already tried it and they loved it so i'll tell you what in the meantime keep them lines tight and rod bent we out